Hello everyone, this is Ratu498 and this is a uh, 3v3 uh, clan battle on the Grassy Flatlands map, Huntsman vs MH. Uh, I'm playing as GB. 33rd foot is playing as Portugal in the centre. And on the left flank we have Buzz Fuzz playing as GB. Buzz Fuzz decided not to bring any uh, any uh, cavalry in this game. Our opponents are playing as Prussia, uh, more Prussia, and oh Prussia. So our opponents will play as Prussia. Uh, the Portuguese have got very very good uh, lights and line, although their morale's not great. So against Prussia they're a pretty good army to take, and the 2GB obviously have got uh, advantages in line, lights aren't as good, but not too bad. As you can see those two um, opponents in the centre and their right flank for MH, both used the long line tactic which I talked about in the last video. Uh, it is a little bit more effective in 3v3s but not really, it still has the same disadvantages of the cav being able to rush through so... Uh, my light's just moving up here my light infantry basically I'm going to do all the attacking to start with and then I'm going to plan to bust open a hole between uh, my opponent and 33rd of opponent so we can wrap around each other uh, on this map, it's called Flatlands. Realistically, it's not actually that flat. If you have a close look at the map in high graphics, you'll see there's lots of hills, especially around the road area. Um, so I take advantage of that, and I know I'm going to lose a light battle. So I put my lights just beneath the hill, so basically we're both firing at the hill. So I've moved uh, my left flank up in between the two lights, between my lights and 33rd foot's lights. So I'm going to be taking some hits off his opponent's foot guard. <coughs> uh, his opponent sent a calf charge through here. Pretty standard square up. My calf go through. They're going to quickly engage with his calf, and there's another calf unit going through. He forms square, I quickly pull them off, a couple engage, but I pull them off straight into the foot guards. These are two different opponents. This foot guard unit belongs to 33rd foot's guy, and the guy that just formed a square was my guy. So the communication wouldn't have been great with the cav going through, so I thought I'd be able to take advantage of that, and it worked. So I managed to get a good hit on the foot guards. He then sends cav in to deal with my cav, which is some I completely disagree with, which I say in almost every video, as I see people do it again and again and again. Because our lights and our line are now going to fire on... Uh, our opponent's line and it's also going to hit his cav. It's going to hit my cav too but that doesn't matter because I'm going to be killing just as many as them as I do with my guys and my guys have already disrupted their line enough that we're going to do a lot of damage to these guys. So I'm telling 33rd foot now, look, he can't square, get any cav you've got together, get ready for a charge. So I pull mine out and here comes 33rd foot's cav. So he's going to send his cav in. Portuguese cav is shit, really really bad. But they're still cav, they've still got a charge bonus, they still disrupt the lines and they do a pretty good job at it. So his cav go through and we've already, if you have a look at the minimap, created a hole with our units getting in. They try and block that hole up in a minute but let's see what happens. So as you can see we've got this hole now, we've got this gap. As you can see he's trying to bring more units around here look, to um, reserve uh, must see units are going to try and plug that gap which has automatically left his centre a little bit weaker as you can see got two more cav units they're going to come straight through forms a square fine not a problem yet again before they engage I move the cav to the next unit and I get hit on that so now that cav unit can't square so I'm um, that cav uh, that line unit can't square sorry so that line unit is going to be disturbed 33rd foot is going to send some cav here. Unfortunately, I told him that they can't square, whereas this unit could square and did square and got a square off at his cav as it tried to come through. But we've got a lot of disruption in there now, as you can see, the, uh, there's some Prussian cav coming across now. But I've got some GB foot shooting at them. Prussian uh, 
lancers aren't going to really do too much damage to me because they've got to go through their own line first which is going to slow them down and they've also got to go through my cav so he sends one cav charge through form up a square so you can see the little guys falling off the back of their horses as they rear up so he's going for my general with his cav charge which is something that pisses me off when people do that so I've got as you can see I'm moving my line units across I was hoping it, uh, they were going to get there quick enough but it was obvious that there was no chance of them getting there quick enough so I just form a square with my uh, most forward line unit and they get some shots off and they end up managing to route that Lancer unit away before he got to my general but I also managed to round my general out at the time uh, he sends another cab charge through, yeah, again form squares stop him from being able to do any damage to me so the 33rd foot get a square off so as you can see basically all that's happening in this battle at the moment is in this little section here. Um, third, third foot's got a little light engagement going on which he's winning because as more and more units are getting dragged into this hole which we've created they're getting weaker and weaker in the centres. So as you can see now his centre consists of two musketeer units and that's it. So more cav coming in, more squares gives him some free shots. I see the danger so I've got these uh, three line units on this side uh, doing nothing so I'm going to pull them across and fill this gap. So he, my guy has already used his reserves. My reserves are still fresh so they're going to go in now and they're going to take the place that the units have been firing for a long time. So as you can see now Buzz is moving up a little bit. He's going to send a unit in to scare off these uh, Prussian fusiliers. So as you can see, my line are moving up, 33rd foot, uh, lights and line are moving uh, up. Our general is under attack. And these GB guys are considerably better than the um, Prussian Musketeers, they're going to do quite a bit of damage. I think there was another cav charge going through there, just from squares as usual. charge we've just formed squares so my guy attempts to run away um, so now they're in a really really bad situation we've managed to basically uh, blow a great big hole through the center of them which is going to cause them a great big problem as we've now got a flanking advantage on both the players as I say I knew the right flank I wasn't going to win against the lights there was no way I was going to win against the lights if I was I was going to lose a lot of men doing it so I didn't even want to get involved in that so sent all the cab to the centre and bust through there. So now Buzz's guy's moving up against him. Buzz, um, he seems to like these no cav builds. They're not particularly good, but he likes them, so I'm not going to say anything bad about them. But uh, I personally wouldn't take them in a 3v3. Cav is a very, very important thing in this game. Um, I've tried it before in a 1v1 against TNC5, I think. Yeah, that's, that's um, on my channel somewhere. Um, but it's a very dangerous thing to do. But as you can well, see here, um, we've got the hole, so we've wrapped around them. 33rd foot's wrapped around his guy. I'm wrapping around mine. My line are better quality than his, so his will die off pretty quick. <coughs> so Buzz had no cav to counter this long line tactic, which was his problem. As I said and shown in the last game how easy it was to destroy that tactic with the cav, Buzz didn't bring any. So he had an issue there that he had to try and deal with. So here I bring my lights from my lineup. I've got a couple of extra units. He's going to send his general down. But this guy's basically all over now. Uh, as you can see, I've got so many spare units floating around. I actually send some off towards the centre for 33rd foot. But 33rd's done his guy now. Um, Buzz, as you can see, he's been completely disrupted by the cav and he had no cav to answer. So basically he needed some cav to disrupt uh, his opponent's lines while his lines were disrupted. That's the correct use of cav, basically. You don't want to waste your cav hitting other cav because you just end up getting shot at. Our men are running for so as soon as they disrupt your lines, send a cav charge through, disrupt theirs. Then basically you may exchange cav for cav but you're not going to lose out on any lines. And if they charge you first, then your basic lines are going to form up square, uh, form out of square first. But as you can see, this guy's got a lot of units firing in. 
I believe he's actually sent some off to have to deal with 33rd as well. So that's the great big gap that we've now created. And as you can see, my guy's done now. Uh, I'm not going to piss around with the lights, so I'm just going to basically do a great big melee charge on them. Uh, my guy's pretty tired, so they don't, they're don't—they're not as effective as they should be against these lights. But they do enough. Stop poking me, I'm doing a commentary. Thank you, just stop this a second. Basically, it's the end of the battle, really. I mean, nothing more really happens. Uh, that was Rosgar poking me there. Uh, he did come in for a chat, but unfortunately, for some reason, didn't record it. So I deleted that and doing it again. But, um, buzz is a problem, no cav, real issues with it. Uh, needed, needed the cav, especially against that kind of tactics. So, yeah, he had, he had a lot of problems with it. Here, as you can see, though, they're just mopping up now. Uh, not a great deal's really happening. My guy's done. Got uh, quite a few units left. I think I lost my general in that charge. I'm not sure if that was mine. I charged my general into his light to finish him off. And here, as you can see, 33rd foot's going to start wrapping round. Uh, Buzzfuzz is going to pin him. 33rd foot's going to wrap round. And that'll be the end of the battle. Um, so, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is the clown that Huntsman have got to play in the CWC tournament, uh, which I'm sure will also be posted either by me or by Pointman. Glorious victory, sir! It's soon to be yours. Uh, if everyone could rate, comment, and subscribe, that would be brilliant. And also check out our other channels list. So uh, there are some excellent commentaries on there. So check them out. So, as you can see, this is done. He's got very few units left and he's been chased right to the red line, so... It won't be long before he eventually routes away. Uh, if everyone could check out Jay Martin's channel especially. Uh, he's an excellent commentator. Seriously, some of his commentaries will keep you laughing for a long, long time. Uh, excellent guy. and. He hasn't got enough subscribers, in my opinion, for the amount of uh, effort he puts into his videos. So if you guys could all have a look and uh, subscribe to him, that would be fantastic. I'll put a link in the description. If you don't get to see that, then have a look at my other channels list. And he's right there. So there's the results, guys. Thank you very much for watching. This is the second battle out of the five that I'm going to be posting. The next one's going to be a 4v3, which turns into a 4v2. So... Uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Thank you very much, guys. Bye-bye.